are you wondering whether you are egocentric? Of course, it's important to take care of yourself, consider your own needs and be confident. But there's a point at which it's just too much. And I'm not talking about being a narcissist, I'm just talking about being egocentric. Coming across egocentric will make people dislike you and at the end of the day it will make you miserable as well. So let's take a closer look. Here are six signs you are egocentric. Number one, mistakes. Generally, you're using one simple blueprint to reflect on your successes and failures. You think that everything that is going well for you is because you are awesome. It has nothing to do with luck or other people. But if anything goes wrong, of course you think it's not because you made a mistake or you haven't been knowledgeable enough or you didn't put enough effort into things. No, you are great and the problem is with everybody else. It was an unfair examination, it was not communicated clearly, your partner is a fool. Whatever it is, it will have nothing to do with you. So basically you think that you are responsible for your successes, but not for your failures. Number two, deep listening. You're not really capable to really deeply listen to others and actually try to understand them. Listening to you means to wait until your counterpart is done talking so you can talk again. You love talking about your life and presenting yourself. Often for you a conversation is not about understanding others but to show that you are worthy. Which if you take a closer look comes from a deeply insecure psychology. A truly confident person does not need to prove anything. Number three, prioritizing desires. You're prioritizing your own needs and desires over everything else all the time. Don't get me wrong, taking care of yourself is a crucial aspect to survive, but also to be happy and function at your best. A lot of people need to prioritize their desires more than they currently do. But if you're egocentric, you tend to generally prioritize your own needs and desires in every situation. You're never going out of your way to help others, even loved ones. You never really wonder and really ask how close people in your life are doing and whether they feel well because you're preoccupied with your own world, your own dreams and goals and desires and the big question, what's in it for me? Number four, superiority. You are having the feeling that you're more valuable than others. Pretty much everything is better about you. Your clothes look better, you're smarter than everybody else, you have better opinions, a better mindset, a better way of living in general. Basically, you feel superior towards almost everyone. Number five, learning disability. Your ego is too big to admit that you know less than others. You don't manage to be humble and ask enough questions and deeply learn from other experts. You doubt everyone's capabilities and you're always entering a conversation with an overly critical mindset. You're looking for flaws instead of searching for knowledge and opportunities to grow and learn. Number six, spotlight. You tend to think that you're often in the spotlight. You have the illusion that you are most important and that everybody cares about you and what you're doing and what you're thinking. You think people focus on you and you're convinced that a lot of people must be jealous of you. Now, remember, there's nothing bad about taking care of yourself and being confident. A mature human being is simply capable to find a healthy balance between yourself and others, between being humble and confident between being selfless and self-centered. And if you need help with developing your own personality further and find your personal balance, then feel free to schedule a call with me to figure out whether working together makes sense. And otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.